Mr. Philip Carlier. I don't know where to start with this one. I remember when his poster first went up. Mild-mannered, they said. Well, they all are, until they ain't. I might have even looked for him, too, but none of us could find him. It sounds like they spotted him in the swamps. If that's where he's been, on the run all this time, then God help him. Ain't much in the way of company out there, or much that won't try and eat you or put you on a pike. Got to ask what years of that might have done to his mind. You're here. <laughs> you're here. Old take heavens, you're here. See, I've been here for, must be years, trapped. You see, I, I thought no one would ever come. <laughs> Philip Carlier, the Castile Cotton Company chief clerk. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you already know that, given why you're here. <laughs> my, my, I can't, can't imagine how it must look. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no time for any of that. Now, if you'll just let me... Oh. So hoping for someone to share this with. Comes all rather strong the first time, does it not? <laughs> Help you wake up!
Quite well be there. Ask anyone I know. Now, help me! Someone! Any kind soul in here in the desk? Oh, they don't talk much, but they're loyal. Now I'm being abducted! How you feeling? You clear out again, I hope. Yes. Yeah, those vapors, they are quite strong. Yes. Yeah, they're yes, quite strong indeed. <laughs> now, you may not believe me, but uh, you made a mistake. <laughs> you, you got the wrong man, you see. It's Mr. Philip Collier of the Castile Cotton Company. Yeah, he, he gone. He died a long time ago, I'm afraid. <laughs> I know it's very disappointing for a bounty hunter, but uh, you know, there it is. I promise you. I saw him dead. Now, his body committed to the swamp. I, I saw the skin rotting off his bones and creatures feeding upon his flesh. And the man is as dead as you and me is breathing now. I... I, I he's dead. You must believe me. Now, how do you think anyone can survive out here, huh? For all this time? I mean, really. It's a ridiculous proposition if you think of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for a man as, as polite and uh, unsuited to the environment as, as Paul, Mr. Collier. Uh, he perished very quickly, I assure you. You know, one night with the gators and the snakes and the, and the night folk, and that was more than enough. <laughs> it was a mercy. A mercy, I promise God. Understand. Philip Collier's dead. Why won't you understand that? I, I don't want to go in there. No, I'm not ready to go to jail. Please. They'll see justice. Well done. Well, that's what they're worth, and not a penny more.